Hello, this is Mesh from Downtime Distraction, bringing you a first look at a upcoming game. Uh, well, this is just a demo of the editor, so it's not really the game. But uh, so this game is Planet Nomads. Um, the editor is available for anyone to download. So pop along to the website. I'll leave a link down below, and just have a go for yourself. I'll also pop a link to their trailer, which has been released, which is very interesting. It gives you an idea of what they're going to be doing going forward. Um, in the description and from the trailer, my my first observation would be, if anything, you could kind of compare it to a uh, a Minecraft space type of game. So you crash in sp on a planet. You need to build up your um uh, your weapons, your vehicles, and then maybe a base and then get off the planet to your home planet or the next planet or or whatever you want um, so yeah, there's a lot of creation and survival and exploration um, and it's a large scale too and obviously uh, the graphic fidelity is not not a uh, minecraft it's 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 very good at this moment anyway in the editor um, so yeah the Kickstarter is coming out in early January 2016 and the release date for this game is is quite quite far away. So closed alpha for the Kickstarter backers start in the Q3 of 2016. Early access on Steam is Q1 2017. So long distance. This um, this game is is not nowhere near ready, but it's still uh, you know if you're into um, a sandbox creation survival game in space with technology and very very nice graphics. This maybe this is a game you wanna you wanna subscribe to and um, uh, take some interest in because um, the devs are quite active with their updates. So I'll pop along to the website and have a have a read of what they're doing. I'm just gonna go over the basic options in the in the editor here uh, and to give you an idea of what it's all about. So let us begin. As you can see, items. So you can rotate the item. Scroll your mouse. You can just see. Actually, let's change to another item so you can see better. Scroll the mouse so you can change the orientation. Uh, you can put the item there, and you can get rid of an item, and you can go to the next item. Let's put a wheel on that one, and and back back to the next item. So the, I'm scrolling through the items on the bottom there. So one through to zero. And uh, let's put a cockpit on there. Cool. Uh, and then you can change the axis as well. So if I scroll that now, it's rotating on the X axis. And then you press X and it changes the rotation to ZX. Um, yeah, so there you go. Change the axis it rotates on. Um, and then you can reverse what you've done or go forward and undo or, or, or forward, which they call a step back or step forward. Um, so that's the basic uh, options, but if you press escape, you can obviously see that it releases the mouse, so you can control it. So you've got a couple of things here, so you can select new, save, load, or help. So there's a bit more information here, so you can actually color the items. So let's pick a color, so let's go B. Um, go back into the world and go B. Oh, there we go. Um, and C is the color mixer. Oh, yep. Save. And then, yeah, okay. So that's how you do it. So change the color mixer. It, that's probably going to be quite time consuming because they obviously it looks like you have to change each one. But, uh, you know, early access. This is a demo. Uh, there's an eyedropper tool, so that might um, help help out a bit. And yeah, the camera movement. So space bars up, shift is down, and the basic was it to move around so yeah that's the basic overview let's have a look at the items that are in here let's get rid of that camera get rid of the coloring and look at the items our seat we'll put the seat in number four so we've got a lot in here you got some stairs okay so I see so if you actually press the number you can see it just uh, that I guess the color is probably not the greatest here but you can see how there's, there's a little outline following along there when I'm changing numbers. So you can choose to add it to another number. So press number nine, 
and click here and the stairs will appear there. And okay, so that's interior items. We have energy items, so we've got batteries, generators, and uh, weapons, cool, machine guns, missile launchers, um, utility, conveyors, 3D printers, interesting. <laughs> I'm sure how you can use something like that. Uh, mobility, so just a bunch of tracks and uh, axles and wheels, and the basic blocks. So you have a lot to play with in, in this early stage. Let's, have, let's throw some stuff down. Uh, oh wait, there we go, the steps, my pink steps. So let's just change the orientation. So there we go. There we go, and change it again. There we go. Hey, there's some stairs. Um, what else can we can change the terrain as well? So you got a couple of options options of, of where you are. Which gives you an idea of the world you're going to be in when you when you crash down into it. I assume they're probably based. This is probably the level they used when they made the intro video. So interesting game. Um, going forward, this for sure. I like the style and the building of it. Um, it's one to keep an eye on. And you can download the the um, this this editor demo from their website. I'll link that down below as well, so you can hop along, install it, and have a muck around with it yourself. There's some good examples of stuff in here, like you can load some templates. Let's load the tank here. It's just to give an idea of of you know the quality that you can actually get get to instead of me just mucking about. So there you go. Oh big big boy there. So big scale on, on this on the stuff. Um it would have taken quite some time to do that one. Yeah I'll leave it here. I don't think there's a lot more to say. I mean you you can watch the trailer yourself to get get an idea. But at the moment it's obviously all just um what their plan is. Who knows how it's gonna end up. Um so I would err on a side of caution. It's um, it's uh, for me it's it's too early to start getting too excited about something like this. But um, definitely one I'll keep an eye on. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you have some comment or feedback, please put it below. Give me a like if you liked it and subscribe as it would really help me out going forward. And I'll see you next time.